Howdy, y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Today's ceremony marks a bittersweet occasion. Little town will be leaving all of us, but he's off to a well-earned retirement. A few words, Mason? <laughs> it appears our dear Mason is overwhelmed with them. Come on, folks, lighten up. A toast, then, to Mason and to new beginnings for the future of Sandrock. My stars, seeing your father up there picking and strumming like a mad fool. Well, it brings me back. It ain't fair, Ma. You and Pa get to pursue y'all's leisures and do whatever y'all want. When's it my turn? Now, Elsie dear, you still got some growing up to do. I reckon once you show a bit of maturity, like your friend Leanne here, perhaps we could do to ease off the reins a bit. Oh, I... Uh, Ma... Leanne ain't no more mature than me. That would be crucial to put Pa Strumming to him the other day was her idea. What? That's because I lost that bet to you. Somehow this doesn't feel like a party. Come on, y'all. The, the music's great. Let's have some fun. We can worry about the town's prospects later. Oh, yes, oh, There's no need to worry about our prospects. As we have no prospects to worry about. Hey, Gramps. I'm killing the vibe, man. What's with all the doom and gloom? Sandrock is only up and up. You hear? Soon. Everything's going to be smooth sailing. I truly believe it. Justice is right. We have a lot to look forward to. Two new builders. Trudy's close to a breakthrough. Everything will be all right for Sandrock.
And another one's leaving. At this rate, we're gonna be out of people pretty soon. Not sure what gave you the motivation to come all the way out here, but our town's not in a good situation right now. Howdy!
see ya. Meet again. Goodbye. We meet again. What is it? If it's... Goodbye.
Shh! Don't make a sound. Was that the call of the extremely rare bottlenosed prickle toed mirror dog? Oop, wait, no. Tumbleweed. False alarm. Sorry about that. Take her easy.
have the train. It's in the back. I'll go. Everybody hands up. Nobody move. Hang now, hands up. No funny business. Well? I got it. Let's go. Uh, freeze, Logan. We've got you now. Good day. Uh, I'm sorry. Not again. anything else. Just go catch him already. So you're telling me you didn't see anything? I saw a fire in that man's eyes. A burning desire for vengeance that sent chills through my very essence. Alright, pal. Did you see anything that will hold up in a court of law? Not to that effect. No, I didn't. So let me get this straight. None of y'all saw him take anything. Nobody got robbed? Excuse me, Captain Sir. Ernest, Atara Times. Would you be able to comment on all the wild allegations surrounding this incident? Who is this Logan, and what are his motivations? Do you believe he may be in possession of weapons of mass destruction? Dang, you don't get out much, do you, partner? First off, I'm the sheriff around these parts. Captain's the cat. Second, I'm the one asking the questions here, not the other way around. Dang reporters. Almost made me lose my train of thought. Train? Ah, yeah, the train robbing. Or lack thereof. Well, we still got him for attempted hijacking, resisted arrest, unlawful use of firearms. I'll add it to the pile. Y'all are free to go. And remember, if any of y'all think of any info you think we can use to catch Logan, run on back to Civil Corps double time. Wandering around aimlessly, eh? That is so you. Great news. I've got something you can do What's right going here. On around here? <clears throat> yes, I was hoping to uh, run into one of you What's builders. Outer, anyway? You see, that pesky Logan has struck again. More specifically, he struck this here train window. And, uh, yeah, you know the drill. Guess who needs to fix it? Jensen called me over all in a huff. Where, 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 my poor widow Twain? Normally, I wouldn't entertain, let alone reward such babery. But Matilda was standing right there. So, yeah, better get it done quick. But all of that is neither here nor there since you're here, clearly with nothing better to do. So you'll have no trouble accepting this commission, am I right? The train is stopped now at the station. Just get some glass and fix the window. Should be easy as pie. Well, off you go then. Scoot! Come see me when it's done for your pay.
These really free? I always believe there's no such thing as a free lunch. Ow, my... I'm good, Doc. I'm good. Ah! Yeah, it's healed. Surely a bird would never mislead us. Impossible. Animals are pure of hearts. I'll take 20. I'll take 20. What? It's free! It's free! Go! Go!
day, partner. Ready to get your ride on? Yeehaw! Let's go talk to my pa at the ranch. He can lend you a horse for the day. I'll be right behind you. Well, now, my little butter muffin, sweetie pie, I'd love to help out you and your friend here, but you know we don't lend out no horses for free. Pa? Don't you paw me, little missy. Now, you for a fact know that... Well, I guess it couldn't hurt just this one time. rent a horse from my pa anytime you like. But what you really ought to do is head over to Construction Junction and get yourself a stable added to your homestead so you can keep a horse of your own. That'll make you a real yak hand. Uh, just a horse owner, if you don't prefer that nomenclature. I had a lot of fun with you today. I'll see you around. Keep on riding!
akhirnya. Take her easy. Nice seeing ya. Bye.
Excuse me, ma'am. Might I have a word? I'm new to Sandrock, and I would be remiss to pass up an opportunity to speak with a dignified looking damsel such as yourself. My stars! Did you listen to that? I reckon that must be the phrasings of a bona fide tarring gentleman. Ain't nobody talks fancy like that around here. Well, what can I do you for, newcomer? Looking for good eats? Or just a place to kick up your heels? I've been ranching these parts for more than 20 years. Reckon I ought to know a thing or two by now. Just ask our builder here. Hmm. I believe you. I'm Ernest, by the way. I'm here on the behalf of the Atara Times. I was hoping to do a piece on that bandit fellow who's been giving you all so much trouble. Would you care to weigh in on the situation? Oh. I reckon you mean Logan. Mr. Ernie, sir, I... I don't suppose you were on that train, were you? You still want to catch up with that rascal? Well, here's my way then. You'd do best by packing your bags. That Logan's a wanted man! And he likely won't take kindly to a fancy talking, pants wearing, city slicking point Dexter snooping around. No offense. If you want to write about something, write about the scenery, try some of our Yakmal sausage. It's so good, people all the way from Portia make their way over to stock up on it. <laughs> Logan, forget about it. Wait till the core catches him, then ask him yourself. <sighs> and it was going so well. <sighs> I've really hit a wall these past few days. Can't seem to get anyone to open up. Are they really so afraid of one guy? Is it my cologne? You, Builder, um... Despite all that, I don't suppose you would be willing to answer some of my questions about Logan. Ah, uh, really? You will? Fantastic! One moment, let me just get out my notebook. For this interview, please try to be as objective as possible. Try not to let your feelings or any biases get in the way. It's important that I only get the facts as I try to understand this bandit persona. <laughs> First question. Do you know Logan personally? That's all right. Still, you've lived here for a while, haven't you? I believe your insight may yet be of use. Tell me what he looks like. I mean, have you seen the posters around here? They really couldn't have found a picture of him without a bandana over his face. Just a simple description will do. All right, all right. Thanks. I needed that one. But I mean, the two of you? There's no sense in comparing you. 
you're just two totally different styles. When I saw him, I could tell even through the bandana there are stories just waiting to be told. Logan's accomplice, the man who helped him on the train. What do you know about him? What's his name? Fancies himself some sort of superhero sidekick? Heck boy, what could it all mean? I didn't see any eggs on him. I'll just make a note of this. Hmm, seems there are several mysteries swirling around this particular figure. I'll have to mull it over. In any case, I suppose this counts as my first complete interview. They sent me here to just do a little throwaway piece for Ernie's World. But this whole bandit thing is gold! My editor Eduardo is gonna flip! Bandits? On your train? It's more likely than you think. Mm, no, that's no good. Ne'er do well nabs nada? Uh, no, how cheesy is that? Uh, hey there kiddo. I seem to keep seeing you around. You're not following me, are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. Are you lost? Where's your mother? I'm not lost. I live here. My ma's in the desert now. Ah, uh, I see. In the desert? Oh, goodness. Sweetie, where do you live? Do you need someone to help you get home? No, um, you're Ernest, the writer. Did you write the Maltese Pigeon? <laughs> oh, you're a fan, huh? Gosh, why didn't you say so? Oh, that book you've got, that's my latest release. Why don't I sign it for you? Oh, that would be great! Thank you, Mr. Ernest! Hey, anything for a fan. Who should I make this out to? Jasmine. That's J-A-S. Uh, huh. And Jasmine, sweetie, why don't you tell me? What was your favorite part about this book? Um, actually, I thought the story this time was a bit contrived. Eh? Contrived? Wow, such a big girl word. Where did you... I'm not finished. The characters are paper thin. And if you've even been paying half attention, you can see every twist coming from a legal way. I think you've been really writing it in lately. Your old stuff was way better. <laughs> well, little kid, with all due respect, you're a little kid and you don't know anything. I'm your primary demographic! Actually, as you can clearly see displayed on the back cover, the book is intended for all ages. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Here you go, and cheerio! Wow, look, Mr. Teddy! We got an autograph from Ernest, the famous writer! Let's put it under our pillow tonight! You really can't please everyone. She's kind of right, though. My novels have only ever really caught on with the under-12 demographic. It's gotten so hard to continue to outdo myself. Uh, the Maltese Pigeon? Eh, sure. Well, the version you might find at a local store, my publishing company shortened it and turned it into a children's book. Perhaps one day, I could show you my original version for the novel. It was nice running into you again, Builder, but I really should get back to work. Despite the one-off critic here and there, plenty of fans are in fact looking forward to what I come up with in Sandrock. So long! Fix that window, eh? A oh, splendid! Another fine contribution to Sandrock on behalf of the Commerce Guild. I'm sure they'll have a few kind words to throw my way at the next fireside, eh?
No need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. <clears throat> I trust you'll bring Telesis to Sandrock and beyond. Aw, oh, I wish there was more excitement around here. Why can't we be on the edge of the peripheries or something? Welcome to Sand Rock. I'm Mabel. My husband Cooper and I run the largest yak mole ranch south of the U Fallen. Ever tried yak mole milk before? It's got an acquired taste. Here, take a couple of bottles. It's our way of saying, howdy do, neighbor. We've met, but I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Jensen, the conductor of the Sandrock train station. Nice to have you in Sandrock. My pa chose the name Blue Moon for the saloon because he wanted the saloon to have the luck of once in a blue moon every day and night. Howdy there, partner. Can't say I recognize you. Afraid I ain't got time for pleasantries at the moment. Speak with Mabel if you have business with the ranch. Well, look at you, a new builder in town. Always glad to see a new face. Here now, sugar, take this scarf. It gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Maid. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Why are you still here? Are you expecting a handout? Now listen here. When I was your age, I was taking care of 15 yakmo. 45 chickens, 12 brothers and sisters, and nobody, not once, not never, I said nobody ever gave me nothing for free. So I ask myself now, what in the Sam heck would I be doing if I... Building a house in Sandrock is nothing to shake a stick at. Corrosion, wind, sun damage are all factors that I have to consider. tried to outsource a few jobs to me, but he wanted me to work for exposure. Yeah, right. As if anyone has ever heard of your dinky old workshop, pay me!
Thank you.